So I'm going to take you to the demos now and we have two demos that we're going to see. First of them is the registration for the Google Cloud Identity. We're going to see it in two ways. The first one will be if you are creating a brand new account and the second one is if you are an existing G Suite customer. As for the second demo, we will actually see in a general point of view as well how you can integrate third party applications and what tasks and activities that you need to do in order to do this integration. So I'll leave this to the demo to that talk. But now let's see the first demo here and let's go to the browser and let's register a new account for the cloud identity. Okay, now this is the browser and this is the page that you have to go to. It is cloud.google.com slash identity. You will be taken to this page and simply we'll click the try it free and the trial is for 14 days. If you notice now, you will go through the same steps that we have done in the beginning of the course to register our new admin console. So it will ask us about our organization name and how many users that we are planning to have. So let's type this information and I'm going to type just me or whatever, you know, this will not count now. And then you will select your country. Once you do the country selection, you will click next and it will ask you for the email address that you have to receive the communications from Google. I'm going to type my email here. Then we'll click next. Now we'll be asked for our domain and you have the option to either purchase a new domain or use your existing domain. I'm going to use an existing subdomain actually. So let's type for example cloud id demo dot our domain name which we'll be using in this course and then we'll click next. And it's asking or want us to confirm if you want to use this domain and we'll click next. So now the contact information, again, I have to state the obvious. I have to type my first name and last name. And then next, here is where we type the admin account name for this account. I'm going to use the obvious as well. Then we'll click next. Now these are the, you know, the great emails that we'll get from Google and I don't want those emails, thank you. Now we have to verify that we are not a robot and whatever. So, we want to look for cars and, and there we go. Now we'll click agree and continue. And I think it will ask us to verify ourselves again through SMS or something. So let's sign in. And here I am after I verified the account again with SMS. I'll click accept. Now it's going to ask us to create a payment plan so once our trial is expired we will start to pay for the subscription you have two options you can pay annually and flexibly or monthly you know i don't i don't care about these two plans for this demo so i'm going to choose the flexible plan and then i will click next so i will fill out my information and i'll get back to you okay so i have typed my credit card information and it checked the credit card now we'll continue to this setup and again, you notice similar interface and similar stuff for what we've done while we were creating our G Suite Admin Console. This time, you only need to verify the domain ownership to be able to go to the Admin Console. So we will click Start, and it's the same process as we have done with the G Suite account. So we log into the domain host, and then we'll open the DNS edit page and blah, blah, blah. So this is the text record that we need to create. I will pause and create this text record, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I have created the text record and I will check this box. I added the text verification record and then save the text record. I already done this as well. So let's click verify domain. I hope it will not take long time. So I'm going to pause this and I'll get back to you once the verification has been completed. Then we can see the new admin console that we have. Okay, the domain verification has been completed finally. I had to wait actually for an hour to get it completed. So we'll click next and it tells me the setup is complete and I can continue to the admin console now. So what we're going to see now is a very similar interface to what we saw in the G Suite admin console. Let me log in again. So this is the admin console and again this is very similar to what we had in the G Suite admin console. 
But there are some differences that I want to point out. First of all, if you go to the billing, you see that we do not have anything related to G Suite. We only have the Cloud Identity Premium. This is the current subscription that we have. And then if you go to the apps, we see that we only have two G Suite applications, which are the Cloud Search, I believe, and or sorry, the directory and the groups. The groups, of course, we need to manage the user's group membership and roles as well. So this is the same admin console that we have on G Suite. And if you wanted, you can actually add a subscription for G Suite from here. So you go to the add services button and you just pick what you want from here and you go through the trial period start or whatever and you will get it active and set up for you. So so again, I, I wanted to mention again, the, the Google Cloud identity is, is not exactly related to G Suite, but you see the same interfaces for both G Suite and Cloud Identity. And if you have Cloud Identity only, you can add G Suite as you see from here. And we're going to see also that if we have a G Suite account, we can add the Cloud Identity from inside the G Suite subscription as well. So again, this is one of the reasons that, or this is why the, the topic of Google Cloud Identity is related to the G Suite topic. And this is why I am talking about it now. So if you want to take a look on the user's interface, you'll see that this is the same interface exactly as we see in the user's management interface. So we can click the add button and we'll be able to add a new user normally the same way as we do with the G Suite. So if you go to inside this user account, we see he has only one license and you see that he has the same interface, exactly the same information as we have for a user in a G Suite admin console or a G Suite subscription. So you can take this account with all of the security and with all of the memberships and with all of the roles and all of that and you can grant him access to other applications and services that will take the ID from G Suite and from the cloud identity and will provide him the service from their own platform. See, so you have the device management as well and the admin roles and all of these. We can even see the reports as well. So we can see the reporting and audit for those user accounts. We can check the security to enable the two-step verification and all of that. So this is it for the demo. Next, we're going to see another demo where we will create the Cloud Identity subscription from inside our existing G Suite Admin Console. So until then, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.